So when I push the battery check button on this battery, I get a flashing red light and it will not charge on my chargers. So when I put it on a charger, I just get a flashing red light on the charger. So this is a 2.5 amp hour Ego battery manufactured in 2019 and I'm getting the fast red flash. So basically the BMS says something's wrong here. Um, and I'm just gonna disassemble it and take out all the cells and we'll test each cell individually. Maybe we can make use of some of those cells. So I'll show you the disassembly procedure. All right, to take one of these guys apart, you're going to need a security bit driver for the security bits. Um, I just got the set of, I don't know, 30 at Harbor Freight, and one of these worked. I forget which one it is, um, and you'll need a screwdriver to screw it with. All right, so this particular bit here looks pretty small for the size of the screw, but it fits and it turns them. That's the one I'm using. All right, there are 12 screws to remove. There's one, two, three, four in the bottom. And then we have one, two, three, four from the back. And then one, two, three, four from the top. All right, this top bit here was iron hard enough that I had to take my gloves off to get enough purchase. Um, eventually I was able to just, you know, push with two thumbs up here and pop this off and work my way around um, and be able to get the top part loose. Now there's still a whole bunch of wires in there that go between the BMS button assembly and the rest of the pack. None of those wires are high current wires, but some of them are obviously 56 volt high voltage wires. So these are mostly sense leads. So this bottom, mostly black end cap, comes off in the same way. I've been pushing up with my thumbs like this, using both hands, and there's a slight gap opening up there, but I might have to get a pry tool. All right, I got a selection of plastic prying tools here. All right, I still haven't been able to get this rear piece off, but by lifting the front piece off, I was able to separate this half here from the bottom or the front, I don't know how you want to call that. Um, and I'm hoping I can pull it out that way. So separating it out here has given me a crack I can put pry tools into there. All right, so that made it a lot easier to separate this guy from the end. So now I can get these three parts separated somewhat. Now, there's wires that connect that top bit to the pack, and then there's some large red and black wires down there, plus all of these communication wires. So all of those communication wires that connect to the battery connection point. So I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver to remove that from this bottom section of the plastic. All right, having removed those two screws that were holding into this plastic piece, this terminal connector, we can separate the battery pack kind of the BMS area and the terminal area away from these two just purely plastic parts. Now we do have 56 volts between you know the positive and negative side there. Um, so you want to be careful here. But we can see there are all the cells. Um, and now I'm going to try to figure out why this guy is flashing red. And it might be that one cell is bad, in which case we can either replace the cell or throw it out. Or it might be that a wire has gotten disconnected or broken somewhere. And if we can repair that connection, then it should work again. Um, it becomes more obvious that these cells have bulged in here. You can see they're supposed to be this size where the holder is. But where the holder's not compressing them, they've bulged out. So it seems to me like several of these cells have gone bad, not just, you know, one. It looks like they've all started to bulge out. Um, and so it looks like the battery BMS was flashing red, probably because these cells were definitely going bad. Because I am disassembling this, I am going to cut this mid-pack connection point here. Um, and so that is what is halfway through the pack. And so that converts this from a pack that's a 56 volt battery pack to two packs that are half of that. So, you know, 23 or whatever. 
and I bend those a little ways apart so they're not touching each other. Um, and so now I have two half packs which are somewhat safer to work with. Then I can remove this big wire here um, and that is the positive wire. So by pulling that wire off I only have to worry about positive in these tiny little BMS wires. And there's also the negative wire down here. So there's little clips here that this wire goes under and so you, you can kind of work it out or you can wait until the cells are gone to get it off. But I'm, I'm just working it out there and that allows me to unflip this. Now we still have all these tiny little wires here. Those go all throughout the pack and some of them have pretty high voltages in them still, up to 23 volts with this thing connect, disconnected here, or across a couple of them, you know, up to, up to 23 volts. Um, and so you have to be careful taking those out because there could still be some voltage in there. Now these batteries are kind of stuck in there, but it's not like screwed in or anything. There might be a little bit of adhesive gluing things together. And you can see here's all these wires connected to the various different connection points, or basically between each set of cells to get a voltage for each cell. Um, and so I'm going to be clipping these one at a time near the battery points here. I'm not trying to save this pack as a pack, so I don't really need these battery sense wires. So I'm going to be um, keeping the battery sense wires with the BMS just in case somebody else wants the BMS for something. Now there are two temperature sense probes and they are stuck down in between some um, cells here. They have the aluminum foil tape holding the wires in place. They also have this kind of white glue holding them down. Um, and so you may or may not be able to pull those out in one piece without breaking the wires. Kind of depends on this glue. So there we got that one off. And then this guy under here. got that guy out. So now it's basically just a matter of clipping all of these little BMS wires and unhooking them from these little hooks. is separated by a um, piece of metal here that connected between them um, and so you have to cut the center of that metal to get these cells individually separated from each other. Now the pack is held together by screws here and this is a Phillips head screw right there. So I don't even think I'm going to take these guys out of the plastic holder because now that I know what I'm looking for, these cells are also bulging out like these guys. Okay, I went ahead and looked at each one of these cells individually voltage-wise. And each of these cells is about 3.9 volts which is slightly overcharged. With the exception of this one here, which is basically zero volts. And 
so essentially I think this cell here, the zero volt cell, so that one right there is the bad one that caused the whole thing to stop working because the BMS noticed, hey, this cell has, you know, slightly negative voltage or, you know, zero voltage. But all of these cells look pretty bad. I've picked four that are cleanest looking. I'm going to check their actual capacity right now. All right, so before we take these to household hazardous waste, I tape the terminals just to make it less likely to have a short. Okay, when this guy was manufactured in 2019, these guys were supposedly 2.5 amp hour or 2,500 milliamp hour cells. I've put them in my charge tester, um, basically just to see what their current capacity is, because I'm kind of interested to see, you know, what capacity were they all at when they basically pretty much all started to bulge and fail. One failed more than the rest. So of the four cells I put in here, two of them successfully passed the test where they're actually saying, hey, these have 2.1 amp hour capacities. So they were 2.5 originally, you know, four or five years after it was manufactured, they're still at 2.1. Now the other two cells, one says null, um, and the other one is still, I'm not sure if it's still going through the test or if it's not finished yet. Um, the voltage is 3.89, but essentially it hasn't finished the test. So two of these guys just are not good enough to really finish the test. So I think all the cells on the battery were getting to their kind of lifetime calendar age. And, you know, some of them might still be okay, but they're bulging. Um, several of them were definitely bad. So I think it's definitely the right choice to take this battery out of service.